Hello once again. I'm here to continue our discussion, but this weekend we will be examining lots of queries and I've decided that instead of answering them one after the other, which is uh, going to be a lot of time, as well as we're going to be using lots of, um, uh, depriving lots of persons the opportunity to see how these things are done. So I've decided to answer these questions on the video channel so that you that hasn't asked the question you can have an insight into how we do, do solve some of these problems my name remains dr madwako and i will implore you to drop your comments below this video if there's anything you want me to get across to you or if there's a link to the website which you will need just drop your comments and i will equally get back to you however uh, if you look below the, the video, you will see the links to the various parts of the website that are instructive or that are necessary for what we'll be discussing. So straight away, let's dive across to what the queries have been this week. And um, I have another system beside me, so I may be looking out for the queries on the other system. And as customary as we would always do, we will mention names but we will read out the story so that you can follow the story and we will answer the query and you will see how we go about solving such problems. Right away, it's all about premature ejaculation, it's all about lasting as long as you wish to last and it's all about being the man you were created to be. And you can't be that if you are lacking in your primary responsibility of being the man in the bedroom. So right away, let's dive in. So I have a, um, an email that was sent to me from his name. Uh, I won't mention his name. And um, oh, I can mention his name. That's the first name. It's uh, Mike. And he said, I've stumbled on your video just now. And he was looking for a solution for small organ and quick ejaculation problem. Firstly, I want to ask if excessive masturbation can cause and organ shrinkage that's his first question can excessive masturbation cause an organ shrinkage and the candid answer to that is an emphatic yes it's an emphatic yes because masturbation does no good to the, the penis masturbation doesn't help penis health masturbation doesn't help you to last longer Masturbation is actually a defeatist mentality. You actually masturbate because you are lacking in something, which is self-confidence. You're not able to walk up to the woman of your dreams or to walk up to whoever you wish to interact with and uh, have a candid discussion with the person. You're not able to do that. You're not able to uh, portray yourself as the man you should be. And that is why you lock behind closed doors to masturbate. That is actually the candid truth, and it's a positive cycle. Positive cycle in the sense that you masturbate, it makes you withdrawn the more, you decline in your level of self-confidence, you don't face the problem of premature ejaculation, you masturbate again, and the cycle continues that way. So it's actually a positive cycle. You don't have an end to it. You actually keep going down and down and down the radar. So that's the candid answer to that question so he says i mean extremely small penis for a 40 year old man and quick ejaculation yes given yes that lots of people are born with different sizes of uh, of manhood in terms of penis size naturally we are not all endowed equally yes that's the truth but there are accepted ranges there are accepted averages but masturbation would make even the most uh, lucrative in quote of size it will make it go down 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 the drain and the more you masturbate the more it shrinks the more it becomes smaller what you should do in place of masturbation is to do penis exercise just the same way when you exercise any aspect of your body, when you exercise the muscles of any of your body or exercise the brain, the more you exercise those muscles, they become better, they become bigger, they become uh, a lot better at performance. And that is why 
an athlete would always have bigger um, uh, ties, will always have bigger legs, will always have bigger arms because he exercises that part of the body and he would always have a better stamina because he equally exercises that part of the body. So instead of masturbation, you should do penis exercise. If you know you are prone to masturbate, even while doing the penis exercise, then you use tight fitting penis exercise tools. You could see some links uh, down below on the sites and don't use any lubricants because that would initiate the act of masturbation. So we've answered that question and he goes ahead to say that he's been masturbating since he was 10 and he is 40 now and he doesn't enjoy his sex life. He doesn't enjoy his sex life because he has not placed emphasis on his sex life. He has gone towards masturbation to derive pleasure. He has gone, he has been shifted towards masturbation to derive, in quotes, the pressure that is momentary and he loses out on the real thing. And he's always longing to have the real thing. But he can't have the real thing because he's still masturbating. And the more you masturbate, the more he shrinks and the more he becomes a lot more timid he becomes a lot more afraid to walk up to the opposite sex and engage in the act of sexual intercourse because he feels that he's going to be lacking because psychologically he's been defeated. So how do we help this man? Number one, to help this man, he has to stop masturbating. Number two, he has to start penis exercises. Number three, he has to work on his ability to act on the impulse. So I'm going to be looking at these three things. And I hope um, he's watching. Uh, we've sent him an email, and I'm sure he's watching equally to gain all the knowledge he needs to gain. And if you are back there, you have a similar situation. That's exactly why this video was made, so that you could gain what you want to gain and begin to practice them right away. Number one, I mentioned he has to stop masturbation. So, how do you stop masturbation? There are different ways to stop masturbating. Number one, you have to identify what are the triggers that lead you to masturbate. If the triggers are to watch pornographic movies or to watch pornographic plays or to read erotic magazines alone, then you should avoid those triggers. If you use masturbation as a stressor releasing agent, then you shouldn't do that. You should engage in other activities to relieve stress. If you use masturbation as a cure, for some fantasies that you're not able to achieve then you should start acting on the impulse what do i mean by acting on the impulse if you see someone you wish to have a chat with you walk up to the person and have a chat with the person and remember you are the man you shouldn't be hiding you shouldn't be having thoughts in your head and going on in one axis of the room to begin to disturb yourself because you're going to be detrimental to your to a penis health Overall, there are other resources on how you can stop masturbation. The links are down there on the uh, below this video, so you can go to those parts of the site and begin to do those things right away. However, there are other things that can help you. Part of the things that can help you is engaging in penis exercise, engaging in kegels exercises. Those things can still help you in terms of stopping masturbation. And if you are someone who uh, probably you masturbate because you feel that someone has talked down on you or you are not able to keep up with a relationship, nobody has tied you in a particular relationship, it is time to go to a place where you are appreciated. So in a nutshell, he has to stop masturbation. In a nutshell, he has to begin to practice penis exercises and in practicing penis exercises, that is going to help his penis come back to life. That is going to make his penis elongate again and that shrinkage will go, but it's going to take some time. And why is it going to take some time? Because he has taken 30 years of his life to masturbate. So you can't expect it, that is a candid truth, you can't expect your penis to go back to the original size after you've masturbated for 30 years. So, But it's going to happen just the same way Lamarck, the scientist, talked about any muscle you exercise in the body is going to definitely increase in size, increase in weight, increase in girth if you keep doing it. So you keep doing it every morning, 10 minutes of your time every morning, 
practice penis exercise. Penis exercise with the penny stools is going to do a whole world of good for you. Remember, no lubricants, especially if you are prone to masturbation. Now, let me go ahead with what he said. And um, he wants to know, I want to know, I'm just reading exactly what he wrote in. I want to know if my penis can still be rejuvenated and grow back to the normal of my age. I've answered that question. Is it possible to permanently overcome the problem of quick ejaculation? Yes. Now, we've talked about masturbation. The next thing to talk about is quick ejaculation. Is asking, is it possible to permanently overcome the problem of quick ejaculation? And the answer is a candid yes. The candid yes is that you can overcome quick ejaculation. How do you overcome quick ejaculation? For him, quick ejaculation is coming because he's masturbating. Because he's masturbating, when he is now in the act, he's pressured to perform. And because he's pressured to perform, he's psychologically at unease. And because he's psychologically at unease, he's not going to perform. And at the end of the day, he's going to be disappointed. And he's going to go back to premature, to, to premature ejaculation and to masturbation. And the cycle continues. Sorry, just a minute. So the cycle is going to continue and to overcome premature ejaculation permanently for him, he's going to start doing these things I had earlier mentioned, which include stopping masturbation, which include the penis exercises, which include kegels exercises, which include acting on the spur of the moment, building up his self-confidence, and just like I equally mentioned, living in a relationship where you are not appreciated. That is it. Then, I'm sure you may be waiting for me to mention one pill, one spray, or the other. Yes, those things can help. We have lots of them. There are lots you can buy in the market. You have the studs, you have the maxis. You have, there are lots and lots of them that can help you. But, if you don't do the things I've mentioned earlier, you'll be back to square one. So, you need to solve the intricate problems before you start using any of those pills any of those sprays the sprays can help you but for you to permanently overcome the problem you have to work at it from the roots so when you work at it at the root of the problem then you can use the the gums then you can use the sprays then you can use the the adhesives whatever it is and they would help you jumpstart the process what I mean by jumpstarting the process is the essence of whatever we teach on this video, whatever we teach on the website, whatever we teach at, at the social media platforms is to help you achieve a permanent cure. And when we mean achieve a permanent cure, we mean something that is last long, something that can outlive uh, whatever medications you want to take. If you are going to be on medications for life for you to perform then we've not been able to help you so the essence of this is for you to know yes you could use the pills yes you could use the spray yes you could use whatever you want to use yes there are ones we recommend but if you don't do these things that are at the bedrock of the problem you will keep having the problem so except you solve those things you will keep having the problem if you're having trouble in terms of following exactly what we have discussed, you can get to me personally and I can follow you up in terms of a personalized class to help you win from premature ejaculation and win from masturbation. The next thing I want to uh, I want to go through some of the things he has mentioned. He said, please, I need answers to these questions quickly. And that is why... I am on this channel trying to create these answers for you so that it gets across to you and to others who are still there out there and having trouble with these particular problems. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead to the next person. And um, all right, uh, I won't go through his full name, I'll just mention his name as Paul, and um, he's 57 years of age. He sent this across to our website and he's a civil servant. He weighs about 93 kg 
and um, he has some tummy fats. He eats the normal Nigerian dish. He doesn't have any medical conditions. When we mean medical conditions, we mean either hypertension, we mean diabetes. And what are his problems? He has premature ejaculation and he comes too early. Okay, sorry about that. I think he has some medical condition. I've seen where he wrote he is diabetic and he doesn't masturbate and he lasts about five minutes in bed and he wants to know how he can last longer than that. So a brief summary, his name is Paul. You don't need to know his surname. You don't need to know any other thing about him. But just to let you know that he's a real person, he sent in a, a comment. He wants help. And that is the platform where we give out help. So you at home or wherever you are in the office watching this video, you can equally gain from what uh, solutions we are dishing out. So he's a 57-year-old man. He's diabetic. He has some tummy fat. He goes with the normal Nigerian dish and he has problems with lasting longer in bed now let me set uh, some basic scientific facts before we start to build on that number one the older you get in terms of age the less the male hormone is in store for you and what we mean by that is the male hormone is the hormone that is responsible for everything man everything that makes you a man is taken from the male hormone your ability to have mustache your ability to grow beds where you grow them your ability to perform as a man in bed your ability to even grow your penis your ability to have the penis in the first place is determined by the male sex hormone now as you grow older this male sex hormone takes a dive it begins to dwindle in terms of the levels and this begins to affect everything sexually you do your energy starts to go down your ability to last longer starts to go down but there are things that we can control and things that we can't control the ones i've mentioned previously are the ones we can't control you cannot control age you will keep getting older the decline will keep happening but there are things that make this decline faster um, I've just read what through what he sent and I can pick up just two things and I'm sure by the time we keep going deeper and deeper we're going to be pick, picking up other things the first one is diabetes and that is very key if you are diabetic the chances that you are going to be having a Herculean sexual life chances that you're going to be having a very troublesome sexual life is very high especially when that diabetes is not well controlled but when the diabetes is well controlled, then you can begin to work on your penny cells and you begin to see that your penny cell will be optimal. So number one, you must control the diabetes. So if we are to ask for a solution, we'll be asking, what has been your blood sugar readings in the past two, three months, in the past one week? What has it been? Has it been well controlled? What kind of control have you been on? Has it been uh, diet controlled? Has it been on, on, on medication? Has it been on uh, insulin? What kind of control has he been? And what has his blood sugar readings been? Does he have a glucometer where he measures his blood sugar from time to time? So that's number one. For you to have extreme sexual health, extreme penny cell that is performing, for him, you have to have that blood sugar controlled. And I've just mentioned three ways to control the blood sugar. And there are other ways to control the blood sugar which equally include exercise you could hear he's he's weighing about 93 kg and i don't know his height but from my thinking he will definitely be overweight and that is not equally good both for the diabetes and his sexual function so he needs to control the diabetes he needs to control his weight he needs to control his diet he needs to control his waistline if he's able to lose at least one kg of fat from his waistline, he'll be doing himself so much good in terms of even controlling the diabetes and making for better uh, a sexual health of his penis. So these are the things he needs to do. How can he control his waistline? How can he control the diabetes? Number one, he can control the diabetes just like I mentioned. If, if he's on medications, he needs to be compliant with those medications. If he's on diet control, 
He needs to watch what he eats. The key is reduction in portion size. The key is not in starvation. Because the more you starve, the more you get your, your body into trouble. Your body begins to go through the process of production of ketones and all that. But that's a different ballgame. But the key is reduction in portion size. You shouldn't eat too much at once. It should be a small portion at a time. That's one. Two, another key is removal of processed uh, foods, processed carbohydrates from your diet. Increase in roughage, increase in fiber, increase in exercise, especially aerobic and cardiovascular exercises. You can do this 10 minutes in the morning. There's a link below which I'm going to drop. Uh, it's straight to the home workout section. These are uh, DVDs you can pick, watch them in the mornings, do them. They help you with losing some of your waistline and that helps you in contributing to the control of blood sugar and ultimately making sure that your penis health is optimal. So you can see that for him, he needs to work on all these factors. Then he needs to start penis exercise. As long as he's exercising other parts of the body, making sure that his diet is well controlled, making sure that he allows uh, exercise to take away some of the stress and making sure that he exercises his penis, his blood flow will come back to normal. That is now when you can start using the pills like the Vigo caps to make sure that you jumpstart the process. You cannot start using the Vigo caps, start using uh, the Viagras of this world or whatever you want to use if you've not set your house in order your house needs to be in order your body needs to be receptive before you start using these things and that is why you see lots of people they will tell you they've used lots of pills and they've been using them for years for years and years and nothing is happening nothing is happening because you have not taken time to set the house in order you have to take time to set the house in order before you're able to follow up and go through with what is happening so if you are watching this video and I've not mentioned your own challenge, probably you are not diabetic, you probably are hypertensive or some other thing, you could go through the link, drop me a consultation note and I'll have a look at it and I'll address it. I may do another video to address your challenge so that other persons can still learn from it. So you can see for him, he needs to control his, his, his diet, he needs to control what he eats. If need be, he needs to be on a diabetic diet plan. Uh, the, our dietitians can get that done for him. He needs to be on a diabetic diet plan. He needs to be on home workouts for himself. He needs to be on penis exercises. He can be doing that 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening. He needs to increase his cardiovascular work rates. He equally needs to control that blood sugar. How does he control it? His diet, we mentioned that. He can be on drugs for the usual control of blood sugar. He can maybe on insulin. And for him too, that is now when he starts using things like Vigo Cap, when he starts using things like some of the medications which are on sale on our website to boost an already prepared body. You cannot do those things for a body that is not yet prepared. You have to do them for a body that is already prepared and that body has to be prepared before you do those things for those body. So you have to do them for an already prepared body before you're able to have things that are beneficial. So we go to the next one, which is uh, the next man was saying something about um, Mr. Samson. He's, um, he's a 59 year old man and his occupation is a civil servant. And what's his weight? He's 70 kg. He has no protruding tummy. What is his usual diet? Mostly carbohydrate laden wheat plantain semolina rice beans does he have any medical conditions he has diabetes does he masturbate he doesn't masturbate and he's taking lots of pills and herbal medications and all of them give him temporary erection and nothing happens that is similar to the other man we address his problems and that is very key he's diabetic his waistline is not looking good his weight equally is not looking good and I'm sure his exercise levels is equally not looking good. So at his age, we can't change that, but there are things we can do. 
A recap of what I've mentioned for the other man, which is still going to be applicable to him, is one, he has to lose weight. And how does he do that? And when we talk about losing weight, we are particular about the waistline. The waistline has to go down. How does he do that? The home workouts he can do in the morning. Yes, there are DVDs you can pick up and watch them. The penis exercise helps to strengthen the penis. His diet has to be controlled. The dietitians can get him a diabetic diet. What else can he do? If he's on medications from his physician, he needs to be compliant with those medications. He needs to watch his blood sugar. What has he been? Has, does he have a glucometer to check what his blood sugar is like? He needs to keep a record of those of those uh, then of those blood sugar. Then that is when he can use the Vigo caps and he will achieve what he wants to achieve. If he keeps using any pill, using any herbal medications, using any dietary supplements, without doing these things, nothing will happen. And that is the truth. That that is why most people end up. They keep telling you they've used this, they've used that, and they are using this, and nothing is still happening. Nothing will happen except you prepare your body to accept whatever you want to give it. If you've not prepared your body for any of these things, even the medications we recommend will not work. Now, the medications will work and keep you safe and help you permanently take away the challenge if you do those things that are baseline. Now, you may say, oh, why is this man not promoting this or not promoting that or not promoting that? Because the key is, I'm a doctor, I'm a physician, I'm an internal medicine physician. And the truth is, you must take care of those problems before you begin to talk about adding this or adding that. Yes, there are medications. Yes, there are pills. Yes, there are drugs we have on our websites that can help you. But they can only permanently do the work if you've been able to take care of the underlying problems. My name remains Dr. Madwako. You can um, send me a mail. You can go to the website, drop off a consultation notes. I will answer your questions, maybe in a video format, especially when we have large numbers of persons asking questions. It may not be possible to go through each one of them, one after the other, because I try to have a personalized approach to everybody. So sometimes I could do a video, put it up on YouTube channel for you to watch and for you to spread to your friends and for other persons to benefit. So you want to get more, we'll be here next time. Click on subscribe, be on my channel, and we'll always be there to help you. Thank you very much. The links you need are dropped under this video, and there will be links that are beneficial to you. If there's anything you need, if there's anything that's lacking, do please do drop a comment and we'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Bye.